Hello everyone, welcome back to Military Gear. In today's episode, we will talk about the minefield breaching vehicle, namely the M1150 Assault Breacher Vehicle. Its first large-scale use by the U.S. Marines was in the joint ISAF-Afghan Operation Mashtarak in southern Afghanistan during the war in Afghanistan in 2010 against the Taliban insurgency. This vehicle was developed to meet the operational requirements of the U.S. Marine Corps. It is also known as the Breacher or Shredder. This combat engineering vehicle was specially designed to clear pathways through minefields, creating safe lanes for other vehicles. It allows assault units to move rapidly through obstacles before enemy forces establish defenses. First prototypes of the ABV were completed in 2002. The Breacher became operational in 2008. In 2009 it saw combat in Afghanistan. About its design, the 72-ton, 40-feet-long vehicles are based on the M1 Abrams with a 1,500-horsepower engine. However, it is armed with a cupola-mounted 12.7mm machine gun, which is operated by the vehicle commander, and a front-mounted 15-feet-wide plow, supported by metallic skis that glide on the dirt and armed with nearly 7,000 pounds of explosives. As you can see in this video, the vehicle is operated by a crew of two, including commander and driver. It has an option for remote control and can be operated from a distance without the crew. Moreover, the breacher is fitted with two launchers for mine-clearing line charges, mounted on the rear of the superstructure. These are rockets, carrying explosives up to 100 to 150 meters forward, detonating mines, bombs or IEDs at a safe distance. In this way, it makes safety lanes in the minefields for troops and armored vehicles. A superstructure of the ABV is also equipped with the latest explosive reactive armor package. It provides a higher level of protection against anti-tank weapons with heat warheads, such as RPG rounds. This breaching vehicle is heavily armored and can withstand mine damage. In April 2021 the US Department of State approved the sale of 29 M1150 to Australia, where they will be operated by the Australian Army. And that's all for today, thanks for watching and hope to see you in our next video.